Imagine you have an important site where you want to have redundant uplinks. Could be that you have two internet links or one internet and one MPLS. All Meraki MX devices support two WAN ports. My name is Patrick and in this video I'm going to show you how you connect two uplinks to a Meraki MX device which only have one dedicated WAN port. On some MX models there is only one dedicated WAN port like those two. It's the MX64 and the MX67. On those models you can convert one LAN port to become a second WAN port. As you can see on the MX64 and the MX67 you have one port dedicated for WAN which is labeled internet. But which LAN port will be converted to the second WAN port? The numbering as you can see is different on different MX models. Here's the trick. Look at the LAN port which is closest to the dedicated internet port. In the MX67 it's the port 2 and on the MX64 it's the port number 4. And this is how we connect it. So you would connect an internet connection and the second to the closest port. Same thing on the MX67. So like this. Now it's time to do the configuration. There are two ways to do this. You can either use the local device page and do it directly on the device or use the dashboard. Let's configure this now on the device local status page. I open my browser and go to my.meraki.com. I click on the configure tab. I look under the port 2 settings. I change it from LAN to internet and click save. And that's it. Let's do it in the Meraki dashboard. As you can see, it's the port number 4 on the MX64, which is the closer to the dedicated internet port. This is the port I will convert from LAN port to a second WAN port. I'm going to configure two MX64s, as one MX64 is set up as a warm spare. To convert a port, I choose the uplink tab, and then click on the add another WAN port button. I'm recording this in real time, so you can get a picture on how long time it takes to fully convert to ports. As part of the process, the MX is rebooting. As I'm using a warm spare, my clients are going to fail over to the warm spare MX64 and continue to have access. Now when I've done the primary MX, I'll do the same on my spare MX. Again, to convert the port, I choose the uplink tab and then click on the add another WAN port button. I have now shown you how to connect two uplinks to the Meraki MX device on a model which has only one dedicated WAN port. I hope this has been useful for you. Thank you for watching.